First of all, uh, thank you very much to, to everyone to, for, for giving us the opportunity to, uh, to explain you something that we think is uh, quite nice. I was inviting also my colleague uh, Cesar Dominguez, senior engineer, and also is here Antonino, a, a director for, for, for LATAM in Spain. Uh, I work for Blackboard. I've been working for Blackboard during six, year, and six years, and Blackboard is maybe the, the biggest uh, ed IT education company worldwide with 4,000 4, employees fully dedicated to, uh, to improve the student's outcome. Uh, and mainly we are focused on uh, e-learning platforms and e-learning uh, services. We have the pleasure to, uh, to if you check, for example, uh, the, two, uh, the two, 200 uh, top universities worldwide, you will see that 60-70% they used to work with Blackboard and also with, with Mother Rooms. Okay, I will let my, my colleague Antonin also to explain uh, who is a uh, written speaker. Uh, good morning, and thank you very much uh, for th this invitation. Too, Real Speaker is the uh, well is the leader of uh, accessibility uh, education. Uh, we provide audio uh, audio conversion of all educational content, and we we try to. Uh, include this under the uh, scope of universal design for learning. So this is part of accessibility, but also includes uh, many students that uh, are accessing now uh, content from mobile devices and are able to study be better and learn better on the go. So uh, we will introduce a little bit how Read Speaker is integrated in, in the Blackboard environment and in other LMSs too. By, by the way, I will apologize. As you can see, we are Spanish, so our English level is maybe not the best one, but we'll try to, uh, okay, to talk as, as good as we can. So thank you very much. So Cesar, uh, maybe you can explain what is a Blackboard Learn, please, and how we help students and academics and institutions. Good morning. Hmm? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, good. Hi, uh, as Alex said, my name is Cesar Dominguez, and I'm the senior engineer for Blackboard. And uh, Blackboard is uh, mainly a learning system designed to be implemented on higher, higher education institutions. Our product is the leader on uh, higher ed institutions for, for providing learning content and delivering content to students. And it even goes beyond, because we also have the options to have that content delivered into uh, mobile devices, either by uh, our apps, we have a uh, special dedicated apps for instructors where they can see their content on mobile devices, and we have a dedicated application for students where they also can see um, announcements on courses and actually take assessments which are uh, especially designed for mobile devices. <clears throat> um, my background is mainly technical. So uh, I probably will go into technical details as much as uh, we could have in here, but that's, uh, that's my area of speciality, so I will speak about that. Blackboard Learn is designed uh, on, on Java. It runs on Java, and it can be used with Oracle databases as well as Microsoft SQL on their self-hosted uh, versions. Um, Blackboard Learn has two modalities to deploy the product. The first one, and the most we use is through uh, managed hosting, where institutions can decide to have our facilities, our data centers that are spread all around the world, to host their database and applications, and they can manage the site through our data center. And it provides a 99.99% uh, uptime, and also it guarantees you that you will have a, a smoothly running platform uh, you know, in time and allowing you to concentrate on, on the most important value of a learning man management system, which is uh, creating content. Creating content which is uh, interesting, engaging, and also uh, valuable for your students. Uh, a second modality that we are implementing now is the SaaS version. It's a software as a um, service as a software where we deliver the product and, and uh, continues uh, update release, which is performed automatically on clients. And then the clients always have the latest version of the product, 
without having to schedule uh, a downtime for programming those, uh, those installations. So that's a benefit because it is, it is like Facebook. When you see an improvement and they get deployed slowly in every region, so it works the same for, for educational institutions. You get the software on the latest version and your users won't even notice because it will, it will get deployed by regions automatically and it will work just smoothly for, for your end users. <clears throat> also, Blackboard has um, an extended facility, which is it's, uh, it's what we call the building blocks feature. Building blocks are custom built um, add-ons to the product, which can be either built by Blackboard or by your own institutions using our uh, API and REST um, interfaces. So let's say that you need to create uh, an attendance um, product for, for uh, measuring attendance for students, or you need to measure the, um, a specific report for uh, instructors, how are delivering the content, and if it's, that content is engaging enough for students. That information is on the database, but maybe it's not in a, in a report that comes by default. You can build a custom report, add it as a building block into the product, and then that information can be extracted from the system. You can build it on your own. If you have the, the, the Java resources, we will provide it with a community of developers that you can join and get assistance. Or you can contract the, the building block development. Either way, <clears throat> the important point is it, you can extend the functionality of Lab Learn beyond what already provides by way of uh, the building blocks. We also uh, provide an option for, uh, for Moodle, which is the solution of Blackboard for, for Moodle, which is uh, like our own distribution of Moodle, which is Moodle Rooms. Moodle Rooms is the SaaS version that we provide of the very well-known Moodle product. And this product is also distributed in, in a SaaS modality so users can see the newest version without even notice that it's already there. And also, uh, it offers the whole range of um, functions that Moodle provides, the delivery content, the, that you know, interface that's worldwide famous because it's simple, it's clean, it's easy to use. And it depends on our uh, infrastructure. Our data centers, our, uh, we have um, an agreement with uh, Amazon where they provide us, uh, we have a, a very interesting agreement with Amazon where we can host and deploy Moodle rooms in a very um, seamlessly way. So all, all users won't, won't even notice that a maintenance is ongoing. So Moodle is also, um, using the approach of extending capabilities through the plugins that Moodle uses. And it's also very, very light use and all users can enjoy of the product based on our uh, hosted platform. Just a couple of comments. Uh, most of people don't know, but Blackboard, uh, Blackboard finance a Moodle at 70%, more or less. It means that uh, around 70% of the incomings from Moodle they come from, from Blackboard. We also contribute uh, to Moodle, developing more than 50% of the line codes. Okay? Again, most of the market doesn't know that, but uh, let me say that Blackboard is behind, uh, behind Moodle. So basically, as a summary, Moodle Rooms has three different versions of standard Moodle. No downtime when migrations, okay? It has analytics, predict analytics capabilities, and on top of that has something that we have not, uh, is not free software, my apologies, uh, we didn't do this uh, code open for, for the community, but it's, we have something called personalized learning design in the Moodle core. What means that we can set up rules in the platform where depending how the, the user interacts with the platform, depending on the behavior, we can move them to several, uh, let me say, pedagogical, different pedagogical ways. It means at the end that you have just one platform, but the use, from a user experience, you can have, for example, two students close to each other doing the same course in the same platform, 
And both of them will have completely different uh, experiences and pedagogical uh, ways, okay? To learn is what we call personalized learning design. Again, unfortunately, this feature has not been, uh, has not been delivered uh, as open source to the, to the community. Otherwise, maybe we, we, ha we, we would have no job. So uh, we expect that people have interest in this type of, uh, of future. Next one is called Blackboard uh, Collaborate, okay? Uh, we feel really proud because let me say that 40% uh, of the higher, institu higher, ed higher education institutions in Spain, they are using Collaborate. Also, Apple uh, uses this solution worldwide, okay, for, for the employees' training, okay? The big difference of this uh, web conferencing versus uh, the other ones in the market like uh, WebEx, Adobe Connect, and uh, Bl Big uh, Blue Button, and so on, is that this solution uh, is developed from zero, from scratch, for educational environment, okay? This is developed by technicians from universities thinking on the university or the business school. This solution, what I think is great, is because it, it's based on what we call a web RTC technology, okay? That means that the, the student only has a URL, only clicks on this URL, and it's inside the, the, the virtual classroom. It means that you don't need to download anything, you don't need tablets, it works in any device, any browser, any time, okay? It's also important to understand that, for example, uh, uh, if a student uh, uh, attend, uh, attend a lecture, or, or even, even better, doesn't attend to, to, to a lecture, maybe he will want to have the chance to download with a MP4 format, for example, the lecture to review in the bus, in the metro, or, or maybe in the taxi, what uh, the colleagues in the, in the classroom were doing the day before, okay? So we really believe these type of tools are mandatory in the, in the 21th century, and uh, feel free to, to visit our, our, our web page because uh, you can get there several uh, no-cost license for, for end users, not for institutions, so you can try the solutions with your students, colleagues, family, or, 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 or working groups. <clears throat> I, would, I just wanted to make a comment about Collaborate. Collaborate also integrates with several other LMS, learning management systems, not only Blackboard and Moodle. It also integrates with other products, or it can be used as a standalone product if you only need the web conference solution. So let's say that the institution has um, homemade e-learning uh, tool, which happens a lot. Well, you can keep using that and have this option for your online lectures, for um, communication among remote students, or even students with disabilities. We cannot attend um, the classrooms. You can provide uh, lectures online without having, uh, uh, you know, one of the products of our brand. It can be even your own customized uh, learning management system. Yeah, very much related to what uh, Cesar has just explained with uh, students with disabilities and uh, what uh, our colleague in the former session explained about inclusion and diversity in the engineering stu st studies. Uh, well, we know that uh, more and more uh, inclusion and accessibility is a, is a must for all uh, universities. Uh, it's a legal uh, requirement in many instances. And uh, well, uh, together with Blackboard, uh, Blackboard recently uh, acquired uh, Ally. Ally is a technology that allows uh, campuses, LMSs, uh, to, uh, to, to, to have a more accessible uh, uh, content and documents. It's based on machine learning, um, and uh, it aims to uh, help teachers and, uh, and the schools to, uh, to provide a, 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 an accessible uh, version of all uh, content within, within the LMS. The, the, the teacher doesn't have to, to do anything. They normally have to learn how to better uh, 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 publish their, their courses. But uh, Ally aims to seamlessly convert all those documents into accessible uh, 
content. Not only providing uh, an, an alternative ways of presentation of those uh, documents, but uh, making them even uh, accessible for uh, for technical aids. So uh, it's it's giving the schools also guidance on how they can improve the the um, the inclusion and accessibility of their content, and it provides uh, feedback to uh, to teachers so they can also uh, improve the way that they prepare and present their uh, their content we uh, well with the speaker also Cesar spoke about that uh, we are a building block we are outside of the we, within the, the 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 blackboard community but we are an outside company and what we strive to do is uh, improve learning outcomes for all students we are um, we are converting uh, all the content into a audio version uh, in an online basis and we allow students that uh, that are on the move or students that learn better by listening instead of, uh, instead of by reading to study in a better way uh, together with with ally because we are providing also audio versions to the uh, to the ally technology ally is also uh, being able to provide HTML, uh, enrich HTML5 uh, uh, content, EPUB, and eBraille uh, content to the whole of, 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 uh, uh, of the content within the LMS. Not only Blackboard, but also other LMSs around the world. X-Ray uh, Analytics, we are super proud uh, of this solution, just launched it to the, to the, to the European market. Uh, at Blackboard, we have one, let me say, a researching group, mainly composed by uh, PhDs and, and data scientists, okay? During several years, we have been doing a lot of researching to understand the students' behavior, to understand how they interact with the learning platforms. So we are proud because we could develop this, uh, this application that by 95% of accuracy can give you information, can predict the behavior and the dropouts of the students in your institution, okay? So uh, we understand that the analytics, uh, depending on the institution, means several things, right? Uh, every day I, I visit institutions and depending each of them, their concept of analytics is, uh, can be different, okay? Some of them, they talk about analytics when for us it's just uh, advanced reporting. But for, for Blackboard, analytics means to predict the future, okay? From a student and teaching and learning perspective, okay? So again, we can uh, set up data models based on the institution and how the students and academics interact in the learning and teaching platform to let the teacher see by a course level which of them and why are on risk to drop out. So what is important here is that uh, in a very easy way, we give this information to the academics so they have the chance, okay, for proactively implement the right uh, task, activities, conversations, homework with the student to be sure that uh, it will not be a dropout for the, for the university. And, and again, what we try to do with this type of solutions at the end is uh, improving the, 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 the student experience, but even more uh, improving their outcomes and to be sure that they finish their, their degrees, studies, and, and so on. Yeah. Um, regarding uh, user experience, which is uh, one of the key factors uh, to, uh, well, to favor uh, engagement, student engagement. Uh, we know that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very important to, that students are really, really into the, into the uh, content uh, within the LMS. So engage them is, uh, is, is, is a key factor for, for, for this. So uh, not only the students, but uh, teachers and administrators uh, platform administrators are also uh, key. Uh, are, are, uh, their, the user experience and user interface for them are also important. For uh, so we are we uh, Blackboard based this on the seven uh, key factors: useful, usable, findable, credible, desirable, accessible, and valuable. Uh, we're going to well, yeah, we have a couple of minutes left. Uh, so dashboard. Uh, you want to? No. Yeah. 
uh, there are decision, these are mainly decision power, uh, panels. Uh, we are giving panels, or Blackboard is giving panels to uh, students, to teachers, and administrators. And they can provide uh, synthesized uh, information and manage their own uh, decision making, and even, as um, Alex was explaining, their own uh, uh, personalized uh, student path. Basically, what we try to avoid with these dashboards is uh, to have academics, you know, navigating by the full platform in order to get one piece of data and they need to navigate to go back to all to other pages. So we try to build all these dashboards with the relevant information decided by the, by the degree, by the academic or by the institution, by the program, okay? So to be sure that just go inside the platform, you have an overview of what's going on in your institution, in your course or in your program. I just wanted to add that all that information on dashboard, it's completely customizable to the needs of each institution, which, uh, you know, through the years we have, we have understood that institutions, what really need is information customized to their own needs. Not all institutions behave the same, not all institutions are focused to the same goal in terms of how they deliver the content. So having that custom information, it's the most uh, useful information that uh, their lecturers can have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your talk. Thank you, Martin.